based on historical data, an insurance company estimates that a particular customer has a 2.8% likelihood of having an accident in the next year, with the average insurance payout being $2,700. If the company charges this customer an annual premium of $190, what is the company's expected value of this insurance policy? To solve this problem, we have to talk a little bit about expected value. The expected value for the company is going to be a sum of their wins plus a sum of their losses. So when I write down expected value in the big context, I think of the wins plus the losses. And when it comes to an insurance company, the wins means the money or the annual premiums that a company gets. So that would be your annual premium, right? And the loss is when they have to pay it out. So if you're talking about the expected value in the terms of an insurance company, the wins are the annual premium that they gain from a person or customer, and the loss is the money they have to pay out in the, in the event of an accident. Now assigned to each of these, both win and loss, are percentages or likelihoods of the event happening. So attached to the loss, we have a 2.8% likelihood of having an accident, which means there's a 2.8% likelihood that within the next year, the company is going to have to pay out or lose $2,700. So attached to this $2,700 that's in the negative, we have a percentage of 2.8%. That means the unlikelihood of having an accident, or the percentage attached to the wins, has to be the difference between 100% and 2.8%, right? So the leftover part, or the complement of 2.8%, is going to be 100 minus 2.8%. Does that make sense? And so if I take and subtract that, that's going to give me... 97.2%. So the likelihood of actually not having an accident is 97.2%. That's kind of my starting point and my thought process. Let's put it all together in a more formal equation, okay? So we're going to say that our expected value is equal to the likelihood of an, a win, which is 97.2%, or if we like, 0 0.972, times the win amount that the insurance comp company gets, which is the policy amount, $190. We're going to add to that a loss. Now, when I think about the loss, I have to go one more step here. The insurance company is going to pay out $2,700. So they're going to lose $2,700. But remember, they're also gaining $190 in the premium. So really, the loss isn't as big as we think. They're losing $270, two, excuse me, $2,700, but they're gaining 190 in the process. And so if we put together negative 270 plus 190, that's going to actually give us our loss amount. Doing a little bit of quick math, we do some subtraction, and that tells us that our loss amount is only negative $2,510. So that's what's going to go into our expected value equation. Negative, well, okay, sorry. Let me back up a second. Let me put that percentage in first. 2.8% is 0 0.028, just to make it symmetric with the previous part. And then we're going to take our loss, which is negative 2,510. This 
is the equation that will give us the expected value of the insurance policy based on the company. Pulling out a calculator, we can do some math. So we're going to take 97.2% or 0.972 and multiply it times 190. That's going to give us $184.68. That's our positive win. Added to the loss, which is 2.8% or 0 0.028 multiplied by $2,510. And that's going to tell us that we have a loss of $70.28. When we combine those two values together, that means we have negative 70.28 added to 184.68, and that gives us a positive gain or a positive expected value of 114.4. That's it. That's how the problems worked. So from the company's perspective, their ex company's perspective, their expected value would be $114.40.